Hey folks, Mike here again. Just checking in, seeing how you're doing. And if I may, I wanted to take a moment this week just to highlight a few people that have moved me recently. Quite simply, by just doing what they do, almost unknowingly. Now the first is the fabulous Lena Wynn. We've never met officially, though we're speaking a little more recently, and for a symphony of reasons, Lena stood out to me. To start with, She just didn't buy one of my books, she actually bought three. So before she'd even read it, her first thought wasn't, what am I going to get out of this? It was, hmm, who can I give this to? And I just love that. Aside from showing such an incredible faith in my writing, what a glorious gesture of abundance and generosity. So I dug a little deeper and I found out that our friend Lena isn't just a successful consultant, she's a meditation teacher. And that every Monday morning, she runs a free session for extroverts who are wanting to try out meditation. Pretty cool. And in addition to that, she shares all that she knows and all that she's learning through her writing on Medium and LinkedIn, which led me to discover yet another way that Lena is making the world a better, brighter place. Now, just two months ago, from what I can tell, she launched a website called Circulo, which is, and I quote, based on the idea of creating intentional spaces for inner transformation using conversations as the medium. Circulo cultivates a safe space for strangers to connect, feel, evolve, heal and grow through unique, dynamic and specific conversation. And man, I want in, because that sounds awesome. How cool is Lena, that everyday superstar? She's just someone doing her thing, making the world a more beautiful place to live and work in. So hat tip to you, Lena. But just before we go, there's one more sassy lady I want to show you. Her name is Di Thompson. And she and I have shared just one little coffee. We had a handful of emails, pretty cool event way back when, and just like Lena Dye is an overachiever when it comes to being of service to others. Now I'd love to say it's biological, that she was just born to give, but that would grossly undervalue who she is. It would completely misrepresent what it takes to be someone who has made their life's work to make others' lives work. She might only have a couple of kids, but there are literally hundreds who affectionately call Di mum. And for good reason, because she's your best friend. She's a partner in crime. She's always there with plenty of time. She's a shoulder to lean on. She's a deep well of wisdom. She's just what everyone needs. And I want to let you know, Di, that I, that we see it. We see what you do. We see what you sacrifice. We see and feel just how much you care. So on behalf of everyone here and everyone out there, from those that you know well and those that you're yet to meet, I, we wanted to say thank you. Thank you for doing you because it matters and because you matter. So here's the invitation to the rest of us. Who could you shine a light on this week? Who could you recognize? Who could you send a virtual high five? Who could you acknowledge, celebrate, reaffirm? And I'm not talking about the usual suspects, not someone you know well, but someone else, someone you've been watching for a while from the wings. Go tell them. Tell them how much you value them. Tell them how much you love what they do. Tell them how much you love who they are. And better yet, put a little effort into it. I dare you to do to make something beautiful for someone that you barely know. Something that takes you longer than an hour. It puts your heart, it puts your brand, your reputation on the line. Not because you should or because you think you'll get something out of it, but because random acts of gratitude, they look good on you. I'll see you next week, team.